All right, here we are. Shelter Sportscast. Hamish Brayshaw, Will Schofield coming at you today. G'day, Hammer. How are you, yeah, mate? Yeah, fantastic, Scoey. Thank you very much for having me back. No, it's an absolute <laughs> pleasure. I've got a bit to get through. We're going to go through mainly the T20 World Cup on the show today. The Southern River Band, the boys out of Thornley playing there. They are playing a gig um, it, towards the back end of their national tour down at Shelter Brewery in Bustleton. Nice. Tickets selling fast, but I did. I just want to touch on it off the top. Sure. We've got... We got, of course, shelter beers down there. We've Brilliant. got food down there. It's on the beach. The venue is actually amazing. I've been to two Southern River Band gigs so far. This will be my third. Perfect. I'll be then going to the fourth, which is at the Charles Hotel in North uh, Perth. Excellent. So all the back chat crew's coming down. Yep. Are you going to be there? Second of December, Friday. Oh, i got a wedding the next day. I'm Perfect. In. I'm in. <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> Might even be in Bustleton, actually, the wedding. That'd be a great result. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> so make sure you get online, jump on the Shelter website, uh, jump on the Southern Riverbound Boys uh, Instagram. Um, you can buy your tickets there. They've got a little side act, so Southern Riverbound Boys will be playing. DJ Genga will be there, and I found out a little bit of information that I DJ think... DJ Genga. I think you Understood. might be a bit interested in one of the highlights of his show sure. gets naked <laughs> DJ Kenga <laughs> so to the extent of just flowing in the wind I'm, I'm look it's unconfirmed you're going to have to come down to Shelter My goodness Brewery man. in Bustledon and find that out but the Southern River Band boys are a bloody ripper show so if you enjoy rock you enjoy <laughs> that sort of stuff I'm going for DJ Kenga <laughs> absolutely Christ. so like uh, look look that may you know may or may not be confirmed but I guess you're going to have to come down and find out. Yeah. Uh, if you follow us on socials, great. If you don't, Shelter Footy Cast is our socials, even though this is the sport cast now. You could call it the cricket cast right now, what we're doing. Yeah. Um, footycast at shelterbrewing.com.au is our email. Watch us on YouTube. Listen to us as a podcast. Now, uh, we usually do big moments of the round. Yep. A big moment of the round. Australia was in Perth playing Sri Lanka. Yeah, they were. So were we. We both went. Yeah, both went. Didn't we, know we were both there. No. We were sitting... I was sitting with... Uh, Lex, Jake Waterman, Oscar Allen, and Josh Smith, yes. and it. Uh, everyone gets the notification. It's time to be real. Uh, Jake's put a photo up of our view of the cricket. And I see Scully's about thirty meters to our left, and we've seen him. Anyway, Scully's looked up, had a look over. Obviously, seen Jake's be real. That's uh, that's pretty close to what I'm. Were looking you watching at. me? Like try, yeah. I was like trying to yeah. get my protractor out yeah. and figure out. Like, that's exactly. pretty close to what I'm looking at. Just turned. Yeah, there, no, like, I mean, beautiful. usually Mark Redding's will be sitting in your seat, and I'll be talking him through what be real is. You need to yeah. talk me through it. I'm not actually quite sure what be real is. Well, you're on be real, yes. So you know what it is, yeah. scars, or whatever it is. Um, but. Basically, it's just it pops up at a random time of the day. You have two minutes to be real, but um, you can do it at any time of the day after that. It just tells everyone that you're late. Anyway, basically what it is, basically Instagram, but you just take a photo of exactly what you're doing at the time, and it takes a photo going that way, a photo, your reverse camera. And so it's just you doing what you're doing real at life, any real media. life. But a lot of people... You have a two-minute window to be real. A lot of people do it later and just... I, I will say, I, I've had it for three days, and it could not have been more effective because yeah, I didn't you know you were at the cricket, saw the B-reel, saw you were there. Damn. So the cricket, I took my four-year-old son Nash, it started at 7pm, there was a lot of carry-on about the game being at 7pm, um, of course Eastern States it would have started at 10pm, mm. I rocked up at uh, when the gates opened, 5.30, because I had the little fella with me, wanted to show yeah. him around. There was, i got to say... Fuck all happening for yeah. young kids. I was looking for some face painting, uh, maybe some people like some mascots walking around. Nothing like absolutely. There was not one. I did two laps of the whole stadium. Not one thing inside or outside. Both. Both. There was what nothing. about on that little lawn out there? Nothing. Like, wow. It See, was, that's disappointing. So, so like, okay, so we carry on. Oh, there's not a sellout. But uh, if you're going to take your kids down there. Uh, what are you going to do? Just go sit in the stands and watch the guys warmed up, which is what we did, and it was boring. That's disappointing. See, the Big Bash does it well. The Big Bash is a very family-oriented event. But this is the World Cup, mate. Exactly. So you'd, think it'd be pretty, you'd think it'd be pretty similar. So, yeah, I did see Nash. He was bored out of his he bought out of his mind. Yeah, well, he's a four-year-old child. Exactly. It wasn't entertaining enough for him. Um, we jumped on the train, caught that in there. That was good. Yeah, love so, the train. Like, the train was full of Sri Lankans, like absolute diehards. We, we had like... You know the guys that were playing trumpets and drums and stuff? <laughs> they were on our train. Did they train. bring their drum Nash trumpets was, on there? They were playing them on the train. Nash awesome. was absolutely loving it. That's, the be that's my favourite thing about the, uh, the Indians, the Sri Lankans, the Pakistan uh, the Pakistan teams, even, uh, even Afghanistan. All their supporters just go bananas for the full time. It's like playing drums, playing trumpet. They're all chanting. It's unbelievable. You were there. Yep. 
Aussie crowd v Sri Lankan no. crowd. Who wins? Aussie, uh, Sri Lankan crowd wins every day of the week. They were <laughs> outnumbered by, well, probably not really. It was a pretty lacklustre crowd, 25,000 there, but it was just incredible. Was, the Sri Lankans made a shitload more noise. Bay 13 and the MCG has a great reputation. I don't know what bay they were in <laughs> over on that wig over there, but they were going bananas. Yeah. So Australia end up getting the win. Mm-hmm. I thought lacklustre in the field. Yeah. Oh, Dave Warner was good in the field, just running. Though I thought they made a pretty conscious effort to hit it to him, to run him off his legs because he was opening the batting. Took but a good catch. Took David a great Warner. catch, but runs hard. Pat no, Cummins, that, oh, yeah, death good. bowling. Putrid. Yeah, he's scored over twenty runs. In he the was last too over. worried about his carbon footprint. I think Pat. <laughs> he's um didn't want to give didn't want to take any wickets because it would take too much energy to put the stumps back in. So that was his that was his issue. Obviously, um, uh, I, I just I, I was um, uninspired by what I saw. I, I don't see Australia beating any good teams after no, the God, way no. they bowled and fielded. Oh no, I couldn't agree more. They um I think the bowling was Josh Hazel would actually bowl pretty well to be fair, but um, Mark War. Legend yep. of Australian cricket, brother mm-hmm. of Steve. Uh, he wants WA boy Cam Green into the side. Why wouldn't you have him in there? To open the batting. Correct. And he wants Pat Cummins dropped. Yep, oh, that's fine by me. I also think we should get a... I mean, I'm a, I'm a Hobart Hurricanes man in the uh, in the Big Bash. Love my You're Canes. You're a Hobart Hurricanes man. <laughs> yeah, love, love my Canes. Of course, yeah. But, um, like, Riley Meredith, for example, bowls like 155. Does he? He bowls just gas, and I think he's had a he did a side strain a couple of years ago, and his back's pretty cooked. But a real he's, Sean Tate area, but just like lightning quick. Now I was watching Cummins come in and bowl 142, 143 and not really do a whole heap with it. It's spanked. Yeah, but imagine coming in and bowling, nudging 160. Like that's what we need, I think, in T Twenty cricket. And I'm not a massive enthusiast, but uh, <laughs> I think the scare factor of bowling 155 plus. Might put a bit of fear into the show. So the skipper comes out, opens the batting. Yep. Aaron Finch, he's been under a little bit of a form cloud. And it mm. looks like he'll be stepping away from the position at the end of this tournament. Mm-hmm. Was putrid. Yeah, it wasn't great. He um, he lasted the 20, or he lasted the innings out. Yes. Uh, but was just seeing him like marbles and <laughs> could not put bat on ball he to was, save his life. By he, the end of it, he was <clears throat> screaming out. He yeah. Was, he was carrying on. He, made one, he hit one six that was flushed, but everything else just. Was he, he probably could have chopped on for two or three. He missed hit. He missed hit all he the big shots that he was going 42 for. Thirty one forty two in a T twenty. Yeah, so uh, he was batting with Stoinis, and then it was the fifty partnership, and it came up Stoinis forty seven, Finch three, and everyone sort of he Finch was laughing out on the field. I thought he was going to raise his bat as a little <laughs> joke to the crowd, which I thought would have been quite funny, but um, no, he just couldn't find it. He couldn't get it working. He didn't get out, held his wicket, but um, you're not batting for red ink in uh, in T twenty cricket. So I went home at the end of the first innings. Um, yep. Nash had enough, chucked him on the train, fell asleep. Um, we had one car at our house, and uh, instead of calling an Uber, I stubbornly thought I'll walk home from the train station, which is a 1.6 kilometre walk from yep. the train. Doesn't sound like You're much. a sleeping four year old. 40 kilo child hanging over your shoulder. My neck is cooked. <laughs> and he slept the whole way home as well. Really incredible to be able to sleep the whole way, I thought. Like walking, I was sweating, got back. I was like, what happened? I was like, yeah, just, didn't get an Uber. Just accidentally throw him onto the grass. Oh, sorry, Nash, mate. I've dropped you now. You're up. Walk on. Come on. So home. I get home and Stoinis is three balls in. Beautiful. To an innings. And I think, yeah. You know, I'll sit and watch blocked, this. He blocked a couple. Yep. Blocked a couple. Put his eye in. I thought maybe just for our listeners, we could. Maybe just talk it, talk our way through his innings. Why wouldn't we? What do you reckon? Yep, I don't mind that. So the first two <coughs> balls, I think, were dot balls, and he's mm-hmm. and he goes on to score quite a large score. Yep, oh, so that's just a beautiful that's guided th- shot over third man. Is that a there third was ball. A, yep, third ball lack there of a third man. He's just guided that one over. Thank you very so much. So I lied. It wasn't dot balls to start with. It was, it was one and a two. There's a four off the third ball. There we go. Sri Lanka bowler was apologising. What's that's, he done there? Oh, that's just a nice little pull shot. Very fine. Whipped it off the yep. off the legs. Whipped it off the legs. Not too bad, mate. Yourself. Field ends up in the. Oh, that's an edge. That's a thick edge. Do you I'm have not... slips in T Twenty? You can, but it's a bit of a waste. I think maybe He's have a bit one fine in up there. Stoyness. He is. He's a monster of a bloke. But he was. He? He He's was... only one eighty five centimeters. Is he not very tall? He was clenching and carrying on a fair bit. Mm. He's fifteen off the Hulk six. He's thick. There's no question. Oh, this is going big. Yep. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Clear the front leg. That is six runs on any ground in the country. Does anyone spin balls in the... It, so this lad having a ball here is just getting <laughs> absolutely <laughs> carted. flat batted straight back across his head. Four runs. A little bit short for mine. Yeah. The Sri Lankan bowling. Yep. Looks like Jackson Nelson in the stand holding a number. Oh, four. that is just lobbed over... Well, that's straight over mid-wicket's head for six. So he's got he's the put that one in the slot. sweep. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. 
cleared the front leg on one knee. Thanks for coming. What's Whacked. he on here, Dan? What's it? That, that That's 101 got... metre six. Yes. Christ. So he's on... Uh, he's fired up now. Look at him. His veins are popping a little bit. That's just in the slot as well. Don't bowl there. 32 off 29 balls and so that's gone the, the for a major. The game is still in the balance here. Yeah, he's still hit, in the balance. He's hit four sixes in a row and now he's screaming and he's punched Finch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> whipping him into shape. That is just... That's good batting. He's cleared the front leg. He's got outside the line of leg stump to hit it over cover for six. What are you doing in the crowd at this stage? You're doing I was. There was a catch that came very close to us. Really? Yep. And it just this one here, I reckon. This one came very close to us. That got caught. No, it didn't. That was the wrong one. Still six. Yes. I think Maxwell might have hit one to us, but it landed about six rows short of us. Devastated. So he's just hit six sixes in a row, basically. Well, this is chopped up footage, but yeah, pretty much. What's he on? Is he on a hunt? Is he on fifty now? I think so. He's raising the bat. There you go. The fastest fifty in Australian T Twenty international history. Sixteen balls. Seventeen. Seventeen balls. I think. Yeah, seventeen balls. That's Pretty quick. That's qu- the quickest before that was eighteen or nineteen. Eighteen, I think. Maxwell. Great, and Davey Warner was in there with about 19, I think. Yep. Off oh. the top of your head, do you know the quickest of all time? Uh, is it nine? No, that'd be phenomenal. That's someone's hit not, someone's hit... N- no one's hit it in nine before, not not in the T20. That's big. Uh, Yuvraj Singh for India is the T20 international record holder. He hit 12, hit 50 off 12 balls in, I think, 2006, 2007 against England. Um, and then, yeah, Chris Gale in... T20 in the Big Bash. You've had Singh, yep. Hitting it off 12 balls in for the Renegades against the Strikers in 2016. Very good. I remember watching that. I think he hit five sixes in a row. Five sixes in a row. AB de Villiers holds the record for the fastest 50 in ODI. ODI, yep. 16 also, balls. Yeah, also the fastest 100, I think. Right. He went on to make... He, he made 100 off oh, 33 or 32 balls, I want to say, against... With the West Indies? Yes. He came in at like the 40 over mark. Chris Gales hit one off 12. Yeah, for the um, Renegades. Yes. Have a look. I reckon AB de Villiers, well, we can watch this another time because we're massive cricket fans. <laughs> <laughs> but AB de Villiers came in at, I think, over 39 or something in an ODI against the West Indies yes. and went on to make 100 and something off <laughs> 30 balls. Phenomenal. All Phenomenal. Right. Well, All right. very good. That's the Aussie game. Um, ended up winning by five wickets in the end. Get yep. the get it done. Yep. Yeah, at, at one stage, it looked like Australia were in trouble. Oh yeah, absolutely, it did. I think off the back of their shit bowling. Yeah, off the back of their shit bowling. There, there was um, probably one. We got lucky in the field once. Nasanka was batting pretty well for them. Was ticking and scoreboard over and hit one to point, and it was a miscommunication. And he got run out. So that was our. Thanks for coming. That probably kept them a little bit, but then. They hit a couple of big scores like they ended up making 156 or something, there or thereabouts. And yep. that's a defendable total. Yep. And then just before, St- well, Maxwell went out, Stoinis comes in. I'm thinking we are looking shaky, mm. real shaky. And it had to be Stoinis there. But it was Stoinis and Matty Wade. After that, we uh, we don't battle that deep. We'll talk about Matty Wade a little bit later on, but he's got the vid uh, for this he? game coming up. But doesn't we will mean get much into anymore. No, it doesn't. No one seems to care. It, the tournament rules up. doesn't matter. If you yeah. feel good, go out there and play. I like it. Would have been nice for the last couple of years to be like that. Mm. Ireland defeat England by five runs. Yeah, now, don't they ever. We spoke about this last <laughs> yeah. time you were on the podcast. The Duckworth Lewis, Lewis Stern method. So that comes in. <coughs> yep, comes that, into play for a massive, massive upset. Yes, the so Irish aren't that good. They were. They, I've, I've, I watched the highlights of this game. They were playing well. They were they? slogging the shit out of the England bowlers. Wow. Mate, they made 157. That's incredible. That's that's, that's, that's a decent yeah. total in 2020 <coughs> cricket. Mm-hmm. And then England were no good. They were 105 after 14 overs, which is when the game ended. Yep. Um, they were. Five far, six far. Six far. That's not great, but that, that, there's still enough time to make an assault at 150 to 7 there. Would you win at 105 or 14.3 overs? Yep. Do you have enough time to wait 157? Is this a fair result? Uh, I think it's a fair result. I don't know who was at the crease at the time, but six wickets down, if they were, um, I think that's a pretty fair result. Ten runs off the last five overs, oh, it gets tricky. So the Duckworth Lewis Stern. Duckworth Lewis Stern. Where do you sit with this? Nah, I mean, I'm happy with this result. But I, uh, I just think the theories, it's a, it's, it's what all they can do for a, a rained out game of cricket if they want a result. But um, this is a, this is in Group One, which is Australia's group. So everyone <coughs> was thinking with Australia's loss in the first game to New Zealand, yeah. that they'd have to win every game, including the one against England this weekend, yeah. in order to make it because England and New Zealand is going to beat everybody. Yeah, but now England, no longer the case. Yes, so it's uh, it's, it's opened the door up for us to get manage our way through the group stages, but. Um, 
Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting one. I don't <laughs> mind this. Th- I don't mind the theory, but I think there's better ways to do it. New Zealand v Afghanistan, gone, rained out. Yep, match abandoned. See you later. South Africa, Bangladesh, may as well been rained out. South mm-hmm. Africa made two hundred and five. Oh yeah. Russo, Russo, hundred and one, hundred and one or fifty six. Yep. Cheers. I remember watching. I caught. I played golf. Walked in and watched the last. He was on ninety nine and watched him just knock one away. Thank you very much. Run celebrated. Best part, best of, part of the innings. <laughs> um, yeah, but the Bangladeshis come on. De Kock well, made sixty three off thirty eight. That one. Quint yep. uh, Lynchy um, and Bangladesh in reply 16.3 overs 101 so might as well just stay in the sheds I reckon yeah, exactly. Netherlands v India India 179 for 2 off 20 Virat Kohli is in dangerous form in oh, this competition 62 yep. off 44 and Yadav goes whack with 51 off 25 yep. I reckon India are getting towards if they weren't already favorites. favoritism yeah oh, I think they've got too much star power to uh, to deny favoritism and especially after England got knocked off but they've beaten Netherlands so yeah that's true they haven't beaten my- Although the Netherlands did knock off, did they knock off our mighty Namibians? <laughs> They actually did. So they've got a bit of, you know, they got a bit. Be, <laughs> we were meant to be on the Netherlands team, right? No, we Netherlands. were meant to be on the Namibians. I know, but then we switched to the <laughs> Netherlands. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, at the moment, I'm still reeling after the loss of the Namibians, but uh, no, they've uh, they've got something about them. The Netherlands. Now, the last one that I wanted to uh, review was the Pakistan Zimbabwe game. Now, this was a bloody ripper, I mm. might say. Now, I didn't watch this. Perfect. I so didn't tell watch us about this. it, Hammer. So oh, yeah, I might be able to tell you about this. I'm reading it. How about I give you the last one? Over. Sure, we can go happy, through yeah. the last over because you haven't seen it. I haven't I wanna, seen it. I want to see your reaction. So let me just set the scene before you play it, Dan. Sure. Pakistan <coughs> chasing one thirty-one. That's mi- a gettable total. It's a, it's a mild. That's a measly total. That's yeah. easily gettable. No S- question. So they go about it poorly. I would say they mm-hmm. get themselves in a situation where they're six wickets down yep. and need thirty-eight from twenty-nine. Are, that's still that's still pretty doable. Right? Six wickets hurts. You probably don't need to lose that many. But you're going at you're just, still, over, just a over a run ball. ball. That's, you know, you knock a couple off the pads. All it needs is maybe two or three boundaries and the, it's run rates right. It's gettable. 18 off 10, they get themselves in that situation. Who's winning that? Still, probably the Pakistanis. All it really needs is two boundaries in your home. They're still six for at this stage. Yep. Um, they get they hit a six that ball, so they get to twelve off nine. Jeez, that's that's curtains at that point. Okay. You're thinking that's game over with four wickets in hand. All you need to do is close your eyes and blindly swing at a couple and hope to clear so the boundary. For the next three balls, they get a single, so they need eleven wow. off the last ball at uh, the last over to win the game. Understood. S- four wickets in hand. Understood. Okay, Zimbabwe first ball in the block hole, absolute shambles down on the boundary <laughs> line. Did we get the, did the save it? No, it's a three. He saved it. Oh, he it. saved it. That's great boundary. So they need eight off five. Great boundary fielding. Good, eight off yeah, five. But it's a good start for Pakistan. Oh, right? shit, yeah. Eight off five. You got Pakistan box seat here? Yeah, back, box seat. No question. That is Fifth it. ball. That's four runs. Hit That's down, game over. Hit down the ground. They need four <laughs> off four balls. That hit. is game over. That's a beautiful ball, by the way. But that's uh, that's tremendous batting. And that should be game over. That's correct. Fourth. Oh. So the third ball of the of the over is hit back over the bowler's head tipped by the bowler fielded one yep, run one run three, still pakistan in the box seat three imagine three. if that imagine if he had a caught that he's missed the ball it's gone to the keeper no run three runs off two balls who's in the box seat now pause still, it pause it pause it you'd still say pause pa- it. you'd yes. still say pakistan are in the box seat right. i think that's was that nawaz at the um, no, no, at the other end down. yeah i think that was nawaz at the other end which i believe is the bloke who bowled the last over to india <laughs> <laughs> if i'm not mistaken <laughs> so <laughs> Okay, so, so just remember that Pakistan have lost to India. By yeah, yeah, because of this bloke. Right. Understood. Right okay. on. Three off two. Pakistan in the box seat. Comes Here we go. The second last ball. It's out. Oh, my God. He's hit it straight up in the air and it's out. Oh, my goodness me. So they need three off run. Three one off run. one. With Zimbabwe fans are going off their heads. Pakistan oh God. batters are absolutely nowhere. It's That's Nawaz. Off. That's the same bloke, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Nawaz. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> He's had the tournament from hell. So now three off one. Who's in the box seat now? Oh, it's got to be the Zimbabweans, doesn't it? Afridi's, Afridi's facing Afridi's this coming ball. in, yep. So need a, you need a... Need a boundary. Yeah. I mean, you very rarely run a three. Everyone's out on the fence. I would imagine there's no point being uptight. Uh, Show us. Here we go. It's all over. It's all over. <laughs> he hit it down to mid-off. They've come back for two. They've got run out. They've lost by a run. Oh, my God. So, 
the Zimbabweans, pandemonium there. Have a look at that. So it was very close to a draw. So Zimbabwe threw it to the other end. The wicket keeper fumbled it, a it bit. and almost <coughs> missed the run out. Zimbabwe Which would win. have taken it to a super over. It's the greatest win in Zimbabwean cricketing history. My goodness. Maybe sporting history. Nay, sporting history. That's massive. Wowee. 131. Managed to defend it. Shivers. So, so Pakistan... Uh, A.K.A. <coughs> Nazaz, no. Nawaz. No. Muhammad Nawaz, all but done. Yes. Wow. So there you go. That's the uh, preview. That's the review of what's gone and done. <laughs> yep. Coming up this week, Afghanistan, Ireland today. That's mm-hmm. at the MCG, 12 p.m. Yep. Who wins that? Watch the, watch the Afghan spinner, Mark. Rashid yeah. Khan, so Majib. Afghanistan oh, oh. win that? Yeah, I think so. They no, know. Ireland's just beaten England. Yeah, Afghanistan are good. Okay. They, they didn't even need to qualify. They already automatically qualified. They're a good side. Are Afghanistan going to qualify? Because that, no, Australia, I, I think so. Australia is a muck. I reckon they will. I think Afghanistan are good. Australia v England MCG. It's a double header at the MCG. I think that's right. That doesn't sound right, but it could be. Charlie's written the run sheet. Could be right. Could be wrong. Who knows? Australia v England. Mm-hmm. Matty Wade, the wicket keeper, has COVID. <laughs> yep. Are they going to chuck the gloves to Glenn Maxwell or David Warner, or are they going to bring a wicket keeper in? I don't reckon you need a keeper in T20 cricket. cricket. No, nah, you don't. Not really. I think Maxwell's fine at it. I mean, you, all you do is you give him. You lose out on a couple of overs of off spin if you need it. Didn't you used to keep? Uh, I kept a couple of games, yeah. Never very good at it. I found the squatting do, a bit too hard do you know, just to stay the down there. Just to stay down there. Big quads. I do have big quads, but not longevity in my squat. Um, <laughs> the, who does have longevity in the squat? Matty well, Wade, Wade obviously, yeah. So Test cricket. Imagine keeping test cricket. Oh, boy. Do, who, what do you think they do? Do, they, do you think they play Maxwell as a keeper and bring in a Cam Green? Or, well, do, they, think, or do they bring in... Why uh, is, it like, is Matty Wade sick? Does, is he feeling under the weather? Have an art, should we ask? <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I, I think I think Matty. I think you just you keep Maxwell. Okay. I saw him in. He was keeping in the nets the other day. Who wins? Uh, I think England smack us. Really? Yeah, I don't think we're very good. Unfortunately, okay. I think we probably get rolled everyone by everyone in our group from Mitch here on Marsh out. Mitch hasn't really fired this tournament. No, nah, very good batter. Yeah, very good. He was just sort of almost trying to muscle his way through his innings yesterday. Uh, I on think the this weekend. is perfectly set for Mitch Marsh. Quick 50. It'd be nice, like the bison. It'd be nice. Very, very nice. New Zealand play Sri Lanka Saturday <coughs> at the SCG. Yep. New Zealand knocked them off, I think. Correct. Pretty comfortably. Bangladesh against the world beaters in Zimbabwe. Wow. You can't knock the Zimbabweans, can you? Bangladesh putrid against South Africa. Correct. I think uh, they get it done. The and, Zim- then, and then we've got a double header here on Sunday. Are you mm. going? Uh, I'm not going. I don't know what I'll be doing Sunday, but I think I'll be nursing some sort of post AFLW season hangover. Can, can I just ask? Yep. Can you buy tickets to the first game and then hang around for the second like you used to do in the movies like back in the day in school? Like, you know uh, mean, sneak into the next game? I don't know. Because the second game's a sellout. Yeah, the second game's First like, game's not. Netherlands, Pakistan's not. Yeah. Surely you just go get tickets to the get first tickets game. To the first jump one, in the go toilet. to the toilet. Yeah, you'd have to think that's not or a bad are sweep, plan. Are they sweeping the stadium? I don't know. It might be that you might be buy one, get both. Can Which we, means the first game's a sellout too, technically. Can, can we chuck a little shout out to our listeners? If someone would like to test this out for us, we're gonna we're gonna we got a special prize. I know Shelter won't want their name behind this, probably. No. So I'll put my name behind this. Yeah. I'll get you a special prize if yeah. you can prove you did it. All right, and done. I want footage. I want I want proper real. I want this is <laughs> I want a bit of a life in the day of Yeah, it's like the box that snuck into the grand final. Yeah, yes. Beautiful. Thank I you like very it. much. Huge. So India, South Africa, sell out. Yep. Whereas Australia, um, Sri Lanka gets twenty thousand people. Twenty five thousand and this is gonna top the stands at sixty. That's odd. exciting. It is. I mean, <coughs> India have 1.3 billion people in their country or something and you can that's imagine fair. that they all of them, most of them love cricket that's so uh, I can't imagine it's too hard to sell 60,000 tickets but that's uh, yeah they're going to be good where are you off to AFLW you're off somewhere today aren't you? off to Melbourne this morning so I've got a couple of hours to go home pack and get myself to the airport it shouldn't be too hard who are the girls playing uh, we're playing Melbourne who are very good so it'll be um, a good challenge for us to really test where we're at we've had a lot of improvement this year but this is the best team we've played this season so Freo play Hawthorne at Fremantle I'll be calling that game yep. hopefully I won't butcher names like I did last week I had an absolute howler on the coverage did you? Uh, yeah it was no good um, look I'm not going to make excuses. I was bad. I was poor. Yeah. So well, I'm hoping to improve this week. Yeah. Um, 
Freo, right. Freo skipper Car Antonio is retiring. Yes, so make sure you don't make this howler. That, do you remember the howler that Sodas made last time? He co- her, no, it, it was um, Cara Antonio handballs it to her sister Ebony. <coughs> oh no, they're yeah. partners, correct? They're, yeah, they're married. They're okay, married. very good. So just make sure you don't get uh, Sodas apologised, obviously. But thank you. Hannah. Anyway, that's that's the one to uh, make sure. You that's like when you hear wait. someone's name, it's like don't call him Burshaw, don't call him Burshaw. Like your name's Bradshaw, yeah. and then Bradshaw, call you, you call you Burshaw. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Thank um, you. No, so Juddie's hanging up the boots, which is uh, – she was the inaugural captain, I think. That is if correct. That my memory serves me correct, or well, if I can read. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely correct. Now, to finish off the show today, we appreciate you coming in at late notice. You have that's been fine. off the bench, like usual, though. Yeah, I mean, you that's just get me. the job done. Correct. Abs- absolutely. I wanted to finish off with a bit of a bit of a debate slash PTI section, right? Sure. So the first one is on, given um, we saw the Duckworth-Lewis system bring the end to the mm-hmm. England-Ireland game. Sure. Um, it didn't come into effect when the game was rained out, uh, Afghanistan game. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it Afghanistan? Can't remember what game it was. Afghanistan got, didn't get a bowl. Yeah. Didn't even no, get New the, Zealand, Afghanistan. New Zealand, Afghanistan. Without yep. a ball. Okay. Correct. So, um, and that would have been a good game. So we don't get to see that because <coughs> they, what, they can't play cricket in the rain. Mm-hmm. I want to ask... The Duckworth-Lewis-Stern system, is there a better way to find a result? Or, when it rains, can we still play cricket? Yeah. Now, it's interesting because it is a very... Like, it's a dangerous sport with the slippery ball. Right. It's a leather, hard cricket ball that people are bowling at 145 k's an hour. And yes. if that's slippery and doing everything, like, there could potentially be some injuries. Do they play baseball in the rain? It's a great question. I not feel big, like baseball is just as dangerous, maybe more dangerous. I'm not a big baseball guy, to be perfectly Dan's honest. Dan's going to check for us because if they do or don't, this may help. What about some? What about some things that? Oh, look, I, I want to throw some things at you. <laughs> sure. Right. That I think. Let's take the danger out of it. Mm-hmm. First of all, <laughs> could could you protect the strip of the ground where the pitch is mm-hmm. and the bowler and the keeper for a super over with a super marquee? Get a really tall marquee. Yep. Harry Potter style in the, for the wedding. Just put one up. No worries. If you've <laughs> seen Harry Potter, that'll make sense. That's correct. <coughs> Protect the part of the ground yep. that needs protecting. And you can hit cut shots, pull shots. Well, yeah. that would be... You just can't hit straight up and down. Yeah. They do have... You know the the spider cam? I was about to say. What put a tarp over that. Bring the tarpaulin down. Wow. BYO, tar- BYO tarp. <laughs> bring the tarp BYO over the spider tarp, cam. Bring it up. Correct. And then you've got that protected. Yeah. What's Put the spider you? cam all the way up so it's like a circus tent. Get six new balls mm. and use a new one every... Every, every delivery right? if you need to, yeah. I don't mind that. Alternatively, with, super the, over. with the tarpaulin thing, with your, with your homemade marquee, you could probably go... If you were to protect the pitch, you'd have to protect the bowler's run up too. So it needs to be long. So it needs to be long. Almost or like ball a... ball spin. Or ball spin, yeah, but like... <laughs> no, no, we're talking like... You yeah, need, you, need yeah, to, you need to think effectively. You need to think effectively. You've, you've got a bowl with no run-up. Alternatively, take it off the pitch, move it to the side. So there's... You know how there's, there's those secondary the pitches? Inside. There's the secondary pitches. No, no, so you're still on the ground. No tarp. So it's a little bit softer underfoot. Get a tennis ball out or like a, a plastic <laughs> no, ball. I like this. Beach cricket. Yeah, correct. No pads. Nothing. You just got your little your wahoo stumps or whatever. Did, they did, are. Did, did you ever used to play like um, like hallway cricket with the yep. little bats? Yep, always. Yep. So you're telling me you can't get a camera crew yeah. into the rooms? Yep. Get both teams in one room, <laughs> and we, we we play indoor cricket. Wow, that could be good. I'll turn and I'll tell you what. For the if it gets rained out completely, what do you think? If you were playing cricket and yes. you were on an international basis and it was a tournament. And your game is completely rained out, as opposed to just copying the, the draw. Nothing. Nothing. Captain's out. First to 11, because there's... No, first to 10, because you've got to take 10 wickets. Paper, scissors, rock. What about... No, but that's Flip awesome. the bat. Flip the bat. No, because that's too... Like that, I think... There's some... The, it, that's not 50-50, right. because it's a, a, a... One's got a triangle, one's... Well, I mean, in f- f- fairness... Paper, in scissors, paper, paper, scissors, rock isn't 50, 50 either, but it's skill-based. Exactly. So you want to still... You have your captains out there, paper, scissors, rock... First to ten. Look, I, I, look, I'll say I think it needs to happen, but I would say cricket fans probably say maybe not the way to go about deciding an international. <laughs> yeah. I still like it. I'd still like a result. Okay, very good. The last one for me. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a PTI, and this is well, cricket is boring <coughs> in any form live, dis- and, and, and I disagree. And I agree with that. I and disagree. I'll start. Go for it. Look, I, I've been an MCC member. I go to the Boxing Day test. Sure. Do I watch the cricket? No. I'm in the bar drinking. 
Cool. So I go to the MCC to drink, not to watch the cricket. Sure. Went to the T20 game, as I spoke about at the start of the show. Took my son. Nothing to do. Boring as batshit. Mm. Even when the game was going, there's 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 a ball every, I don't know, 40 seconds. It's yep. not fast-paced. <laughs> if you've got a couple of slugs batting at each end, yep. it's not enjoyable. Sure. And then the 50-50 game, you know, the one-day game falls in the middle somewhere. It's not really fast. It's not really long form like test cricket. So you can't spend all day there getting blind. You can. And, well, <laughs> it's one day. But again, you three. can't use getting blind and going to the <laughs> cricket to drink as a, as a positive thing. Like I just go to the pub to drink. I drink in my living room. It's not a fun sport to watch live. It's boring. Well, see, I just I vehemently disagree. I think why all formats of the game are thoroughly enjoyable to watch. The T Twenty, big hitting. Quick bowling, with the exception of our what if team we had Finchies the out there? Yeah, well, exactly. Then you you batting, you're watching a man, you're watching his the subplot of a bloke who's out of form, the losing captain of the soul. team, losing his soul. But how's he going to dig his way out of it? There's a lot going on in a T20 game: excitement, enjoyment, one day international. That spectacle stretched out over a day. There's a lot more that goes on in a one day international. Is Fifty there? overs is a lot of time. Is there? Whereas a T20, you've just got to go for it. One day, you've got a bit of time to see yourself in. And then you can set this, sort of set the game up. A lot of narratives happen in a game of one-day international cricket. I don't think they does. And then test cricket. Oh, boy. Tell me you about tell, test You tell, tell me. me tell me this doesn't sound good. <laughs> Boxing Day, 26th of December. It's 36 degrees. It's at the MCG. Yes. Rolling in day one to sit down and watch five straight days of cricket. Tell me that doesn't sound enjoyable. I thought you were going to sell it better than that. No, it's well, I'm going to sit in no. the stands for five days and watch the same shit. There's just nothing better. There's nothing better than sitting yourself down and watching every intricate ball, watching the plans. The plans in Test Cricket are what get me because in, when you're a bowler in T20, you've got four, you can only bowl for four overs. One day international, you can bowl for a maximum of 10. There's no limits on your Test Cricket bowling as, except for your physical limits. Yes. And you can just watch a, a battle between a batter and a bowler and the way that the bowler will set it up. And So you think it's a better physical test? I think it's a far better physical test and you can see... The, you can see the thought better in test cricket because, okay, this bloke, I'm going to bowl a few on the outside. I'm going to bowl a few cutters. I might bowl, pull one back into his legs. Might bowl an in-swinger here. And you can just see, you can see the bowler thinking and it's you have your over. And there's not many big shots. It's real intricate. It's real. Like test cricket. It's a chess match. It's great at home when it's, it's a chess match. on in the background. No, nah, it's so beautiful to be at home. That's what people watch. say though, right? Jeez, I love, having the te- I love having the test on in the background. You can just have it on all the time. Yeah. But you're doing other things. You can't yeah, just... Yeah, but no you can one just, there. Does anyone sit there yep. by themselves and just watch it? Yep. <laughs> Who? Me. <laughs> I love watching the cricket. But no, um, there's a lot of people that I think thoroughly enjoy going to watch Test Cricket Live and uh, and all forms of cricket, for that matter. Tell me I'm wrong. Footycast at shelterbrewing.com.au. Send us an email. Hammer and I'll get to those at some point. Follow us on social, Shelter Footycast. Uh, you can watch us on YouTube, listen to us as a podcast. Don't forget Southern River Band live with DJ Genga. December 2 <laughs> at Bustleton. Yep. Be there.